And why don't we acknowledge real quick Jamal and Charlo, the brother of Jamel in the house, the champion supporting his brother once again, the champion. Great to see Jamal also. Thomas Hitman Hearns from Detroit, the Hall of Famer, came to support Tony Anderson. Uh, were you not entertained tonight as we will open it up to the media for more questions? I think we definitely have a fight of the year. Good shit, bro. Good shit. You put up a fight. Hey, Jermail, you had two great knockouts, man. Knockdowns, man. How are you feeling after that first knockdown and then the second? I mean, like I said, I'm always surprised whenever I try to punch. I'm not a. I, I, I definitely know I, I pack a different type of punch. We're very heavy hands. Um, and I was excited. You know what I mean? I, I went out there for the kill, thinking I could get it early. I knocked some guys out in the first round before, so it's like, uh, could have ended a nice chart earlier, but it's a tough dude, tough individual. Uh, Jermaine. Right here, guys. Congratulations on getting your title back. Tell us uh, exactly what was going through your mind as you went into deep waters. Do you feel like if you had to make a statement at the latter part of the fight, I know I had to step it up. I uh, never got hurt in that fight. Um, you know, he talked to me through some solid shots, but you know, when you do got to get later in the rounds, it's when the will, the, the willpower got to come in, play a major effect. Um, and like I said, it was it was tough. You know what I'm saying? We, not a lot of people. I don't know how many people in this room, you know, go 12 and it's just banging. You know what I mean? I had a lot to prove, so did he. So it's, you know, it, it's a different type of war. You know, how close did you feel it was on the cards? Um, I don't know. I really wouldn't. I, I was just in it. You know what I mean? I really wasn't. I was. I was. I was letting my my coach. I definitely felt like uh maybe he, he got maybe a few rounds. Um, I know the early knockdown he'll speed up scorecard for me, but I know um he he did, you know, have some some good rounds. You know what I mean? And that's boxing. Before we get to the next question, the scorecards at the time of the stoppage, 96-93 on two scorecards in favor of Charlo, 95-94 for one to Harrison. So that was the scorecards at the time of the stoppage. Mike? Michael, this is Jamal. After all the controversy in the first fight, how you felt you won, how good did it feel to remove the judges from the equation? Um, you know, that's the, that was the, the, the all-around goal. You know, I wanted I wanted to score the knockdown, the knockout. You know, and you know all the shit he was talking, uh, everything that he was saying, and it just led and built. You know, building up. Um, and hey, that's that's the that's the initial goal. That's what I wanted. Got it. It's exciting. Do you think you're gonna get a unification in 2020? It's a great possibility. Uh, you know, I I I am a promoter. I can't say that. You know, but. Uh, I got, I got, I got people advisors and people that need to control some of those things. Um, if I, if I, you know, the 154 pound division, um, I'm, 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 I'm steering the wheel. You know, as a fighter, do you have some kind of coaching to come coming back and winning in that fashion? If there was ever any doubt in mind at all? I got a lot of, I got a lot of my uh, shoulders. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't necessarily a like, closure. I got a lot more to handle and business to take care of in the one division. Um, I know probably a big question is, would you do a trilogy? <laughs> That's about everything, but um, take that shit to pay-per-view. Uh, this could easily be pay-per-view, you know what I mean? And, um, Ontario did great. It showed up. Um, Fox did an amazing job with promoting and all of the things that we, you know, we've seen. And, and, hey, it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. He could be a promoter. Promise <laughs> uh, Jermel. Jermel, does it? A uh, question for both of you, Jermel. You know, with every, all the talk that came into this fight, uh, people even questioning your, your mental strength, your mental fortitude. Does this feel sweeter than winning any, any other championship fight? And, and for Tony, um, again, I'm gonna ask a question, then ask him. A <laughs> no, yeah. It, go, go ahead, Jermel. Um, you know, that's what I was trying to tell y'all. That mental sh BS is like, you know, I guess that was part of this game plan. I, I'm, I'm different. I'm all. I'm a warrior, you know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm, I'm in a different hand, I'm a different ball field when it comes out of that mental shit. I've been through so much, I'm like, that's nothing, this is little to me. 
I'm just entertaining you guys, and hopefully you, you, you guys can, um, you know, continue to enjoy me and my brother as long as we, you know, sit on the throne as a, in, in the boxing world. You know, if the mental thing is something that, that if any boxer that steps in the ring and can go 12 rounds, you better be mentally prepared for any and everything. Did all of that make it tonight the sweetest victory of your career, though? You know, sweetest victory again. <laughs> yeah, it was sweet. Thank you.